Hello everybody, my name is Alan Sweeney and uh, I'm currently in Athlone town at the moment and uh, I'm down at Burgess Park and as you can tell like it's an absolutely beautiful and stunning day and uh, I'm very glad I came out, I'm absorbing vitamin D, uh, it's probably the best I've been tanned coming into into the summertime in that sort of way but uh, yeah I, I guess the, the main reason why I'm here today is because uh, Gemma and Jart, Gemma Darty and John Waters are, are doing a, another part of their series of the Bun Rocks by the Beach events, which are in relation to the current lockdown restrictions which are in place at, at the moment. And I guess the primary message is is to end the lockdown, not mandatory vaccines, and just to reopen businesses and just to get people's lives back and uh, like just get people's businesses back working again. And uh, the effects of the lockdown have been absolutely devastating. Uh, we can see this across various different uh, areas. For for example, like there's been multiple businesses that have now been bankrupt. Uh, approximately 30% of the population is currently out of work. And they're even saying that it could, even in a year's time, that like it could still, still even be at 17%. There, there's ESRI reports coming out that are basically saying that uh, the recession that we're actually heading into is actually going to be the, the worst recession that Ireland has ever faced in the history of the country. And uh, when when you compare it, when you actually assess uh, the actual stats and figures, like it's simply unnecessary. For example, uh, I believe there's 250,000 tests nearly uh, conducted in Ireland for the coronavirus, and there was about 24 to 25,000 cases, which is the equivalent of 11 to 12 percent uh, positive recordings uh, achieved. And even then, uh, there, there's various other pandemics going around the world at the moment, such as uh, TB. And uh, back in 2018, there was 1.5 million deaths uh, recorded of TB. And uh, the most prevalent countries in which that occurred <clears throat> were countries such as China, India, Bangladesh and uh, like and Congo. Yet, when when you think about it that way, like why is there no current lockdown restrictions or travel bans uh, coming in and out of countries such as India and China and Bangladesh? So it simply does not make any sense. So, like, it's coming to a stage now where like we really have to just get the country back working again. People have to restore their, their livelihoods. Uh, this whole concept of new normal simply does not make any sense. Does not match up. Uh, like I like there is nothing that has occurred that that would realistically drive uh, Irish people into a different way of life. So, like it, it's very worrying. It's very concerning. Uh, I think people should be starting to inquire now, asking their politicians and TDs, like, why why can't we restore back to normal life? Like, the stats and figures are there now. Like, like uh, the majority of the death cases occurred in nursing homes. And uh, when, when you look at countries of high populations, like, for example, uh, the Philippines has a population of, of over 100 million people. Yet, they only, uh, they only have effectively half the deaths that occurred here in Ireland and uh, the Philippines is a hell of a lot closer to uh, China than, than Ireland is but so like the, the figures don't match up and uh, I, I know they may say that, that like people can make mistakes but uh, the problem is like the Fine Gael Fianna Fáil coalition have been making mistakes for the past for the past 10, 10 11, 12 years now and there's only so many mistakes that that one or two that these two parties can make be before people have to start uh, questioning and questioning and really just ask for true and proper uh, democracy for true and proper fairness for true and proper transparency because it's coming to a stage now where uh, like we really have to get like some sense of normality or proper normality like and not the new normal that these people are talking about all right guys i'll keep you updated during the day and thank you very much for watching